right, Shane, one little piece of, of life advice for Jordan. So life advice, Jordan, you just graduated high school, and as you look into the future, I got this from uh, Andy Stanley, the direction, not intention, determines your destination. So think about the choices you're making today because they're gonna determine where you end up tomorrow. Enjoy your college years, they go quick, because after that you're gonna have to work for the rest of your life. Okay, travel to a lot of places while you're in college and have a lot of fun. Go to as many Utah Utes games as you can. They're so fun and they're free right now. So do it. Don't be dumb. Okay. No underage drinking. Be amazing. Please keep pursuing God. I love you so much and I hope college is amazing for you. Congratulations. I love you. Jordan, just keep loving Jesus. Keep him number one and you are not going to go wrong. There's going to be highs and lows, but you're going to not go wrong with him in your life. Jordan, my advice for you is to bring over any guy that you think is the one, and we will decide that for you. We love you. Congratulations. Always put God first in all your decision making, and it will help guide your paths and uh, give you wisdom, and surround yourself with wise people. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of all you've accomplished. I'm proud of how hard you've worked to accomplish everything you do. I am proud of your independence and your stubbornness because it truly is what drives you and makes you great. And I love how you love people and helping people and that you've become a leader in the church and you are following Christ with your whole heart. And that just makes me so proud. Just always remember that people will be there for you um, no matter what decision you make and I guess like things happen for a reason so just roll with the punches. Okay. Bye. Hi Jordan. I just have one piece of advice I think because um, I was a Christian when I was your age and went to school and got involved with boyfriends and the whole thing. and. My advice is don't let life distract you completely, because it will distract you some, it distracts all of us, from Jesus. He is the source of your capital L life, and apart from Him, the other part of life won't work very well. So stay near, stay close, have friends who love Him, be a kingdom girl, because you got all the other goods. You're going to do great. Um, I think that the best thing that Jordan could do is just find someone that's a little bit older than her that loves the Lord and just lean into them as a mentor and, and ask them any questions along the way. I think that's that would be my advice. Give Jordan one piece of life advice. Oh, is it recording? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, I don't have life advice. Nope. Uh, just, just follow your heart. <laughs> I'm just joking. Wait, I don't have good life advice. At college. Wait, should I have that hat for it at 18? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. No one gave me advice. What would I tell myself? What do you need to hear? I don't know. There's too much pressure. I don't give advice. Okay, well, here you go. John 3, 16. <laughs> okay, no. Wait, let me think. I want it to be good. What was the best advice I've ever received? I'm only drawing up inappropriate advice from my father. So let me think deeper. <laughs> oh, well, what's advice? Give me a piece of advice. I don't even know what that means. No. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> well, I've never heard that. Jordan, people are not a means to an end. They are an end to themselves. Congratulations. There you go. Uh, my sister kicked me in the face and she's graduation party. Yeah. Happy grand party, old Jordan. <laughs> um, use the amazing community that's around you and um, they're there for you. Always. My one piece of advice is to have fun in school and try to think of what else. Be okay if plans change. That's, those are my advice. Jordan. Even though nobody knows you're my favorite granddaughter. Sorry, Ireland. Okay, my favorite 18-year-old granddaughter. Uh, you've always been the light of my life since the day you were born. I couldn't be more proud of you than I am today. And I look forward to everything that you're going to go through in the future. Love you. Life is short. Take risks and have fun. I love you. <laughs> Live in the truth. That means tell the truth. Think, learn how to think about what's true. Um, let the truth guide you. 
and love the truth. One word of advice for Jordan. Life advice. Um, hmm. Always smile and remember how loved you are when you're feeling sad. Very determined. A little bit ornery. <laughs> She uh, sets her goals early, and she refuses not to achieve them. Absolutely refuses. I have no doubt that she will not only do everything she just listed, she will do it in record time, faster than anybody else, with a better grade point average than anybody else. Hopefully. Because she... She, yeah. <laughs> she does need to learn that again. That's the truth. This kid does not accept it. Very, very driven. And I'm very proud of her. She's become a very solid person in her theology, in her faith, her relationship with Christ. And that's in large part thanks to the people that are in this room. So thank you. So. I am going to cry. I prayed for this girl before I even met her dad. And I just knew that I wanted to be a mom. And I'm going to cry now. She has become um, so much more than I ever thought possible. I'm so proud of her. I don't care what she becomes in life as a profession. Stripper? OK, how about not a stripper? Thank you for making my tears go away a little bit. <laughs> if you're stripping for Jesus, it's fine. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, but I just want her to be a good person. I want her to love people. I want her to love God. And it doesn't matter what her career is if she does those two things. And uh, I think she will. She is a stubborn child <laughs> and always has been from, from the time she was born. But it makes her great too it makes her determined and it makes her push forward and she's uh oh, i've been through a lot that most of you know about because you're so amazing that you share in our lives and uh so just that's why we celebrate big when we celebrate so uh thank you guys all so much for being here thank you for loving her every day thank you for praying for her Paul and Jenny, what you started 20 years ago has helped support our family and kids. What you developed through SMCC has given us these amazing leaders and people and they have saved her. And I thank you for that. I thank God for every single one of you that are here. And I thank you for loving all my babies. I love you. Okay, are we done? <laughs> So when Jordan was a little girl, <clears throat> we went to dinner at Red Robin, which at the time was a big night out for us. And Jordan gravitated as a toddler. Baby, you're right. Loved the lights and the noises from the grab machine. So of course dad had to drop about $20 until he finally won something. I pulled out this little stuffed pig that became known as Piggy. And Jordan clung to Piggy until junior high? <laughs> she lost it and we had to look forever to find Piggy. We could never find another Piggy. But the wonders of Amazon and the internet, we found Piggy. Aww. So we finally found him 10 years later. Surgery. <laughs> so now when, when you're nervous, you got Piggy back. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.